Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs for mid-March 2021. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, so you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And the roles can be reversed. So I have temporarily um, changed the camera angle. Um, but do let me know if you prefer if you prefer this view to the one that I had before for those of you that have been following me. I would love to know. All right, let's see what is going on with Sagittarius second half of March. Ooh. All right, we have divine masculine we have separation and we have shadow work. All right, so whoever holds the more masculine energy in this connection, I feel is um, at the moment doing a lot of shadow work, whether they realize it or not, a lot of um, triggers possibly, a lot of their own shadows coming up to the surface in order for them to process. And obviously, okay, we have separation. So um, yeah, if you're not in separation or if things are feeling very, very smooth for you, this is probably not going to be your reading, okay? Because I feel like there is some kind of a separation that is either in the air or that has already happened or you're in a separation. But it is through the separation that this shadow work is happening, okay, for, for the masculine energy in this connection. Now, masculine does not necessarily mean male. Okay, it is just whoever holds that, the more masculine type of an energy. Okay, you guys, I think, can figure out what that would mean. So, let's get into it and, and see. So, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising... And Venus signs, second half of March 2021. All right, so for the situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Two of Pentacles. All right, so somebody here has, I feel this could possibly be you um, in this Queen of Swords energy, even though you're more fiery than that, but there's some kind of, I feel having stood your ground, um, having demanded some kind of a, of a respect, or possibly you're, you're doing that now, but it could be that you're you might be a little bit um, back and forth between how you should handle the situation and the way that it's going on. Like you might, you might have, maybe it's you that caused this um, separation, but you might be a little bit unsure if it was the right thing to do or how you should go about um, handling it. Let's see the recent past. We have the Nine of Pentacles near future the nine of wands all right so yeah definitely the sense of you feeling because I, I do feel like this is you you really feeling like you know what i don't need something that isn't serving me in my life and i i can be well even on my own if this is not serving me i see this as a very independent energy and you just really having found some self-worth and really wanting to stand up for yourself Let's see more about you here because this is your energy here, the Queen of Wands. Yep, there you are. Standing strong in your power. For them, we have the Two of Cups. More about you. We have the Page of Swords for them, the Seven of Pentacles, and the potential outcome here, the Hierophant. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're definitely trying to stand your ground here. It might be a little bit challenging for you. At times, you might, you know, overthink it and just really... Um, Try to figure out if this was the right thing to do or not. Um, they, they're feeling this love though, all right? Regardless of there being a separation or not, they're, they're feeling this love for you. And I feel like they're really trying to make sense out of things, trying to put two and two together, trying to figure things out. And I really do feel like they're going within and doing that, that shadow work. However, it does 
come with a bit of a of a struggle here all right with the nine of wands being in the in the near future but in the potential outcome here we do have a very spiritual and stable strong connection and also i feel like this is also representing like higher learning having learned a lot through this so let's clarify and get the details or whatever details we can get for a general reading all right because this is intended to resonate for a larger group of you so it can only be so specific all right so let's see let's clarify the queen of swords with the two of pentacles All right, <laughs> Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, all right, so definitely a painful ending here. Um, I, I do feel like it's you that has initiated it, although it, it doesn't have to be. It could be that the other person, um, which I feel that the other person is the masculine, unless the roles are reversed. Um, it could be that they that they initiated the separation, okay? But whatever the case, I feel like for you're still trying, trying to stand strong and keep your dignity when it comes to this. Okay, so for example, if it's them that, that um, initiated the separation, you're trying to not go back to it or you're trying to not, um, not compromise your self-dignity or your, or your respect, okay? Um, but it could be you that initiated it. Either way, it's, it's, it's very difficult. I feel like it's very difficult actually for the both of you here, all right? With this Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords, this is painful this um this ending the separation or this distancing that you have between the um each other but i feel like you're doing a good job of really um standing strong here let me see the nine of pentacles in the recent past oh the hermit and the empress yeah okay so this is definitely you here just really feeling strong like you have done so much inner work here you have really um, gone within and again it's just coming through very very strongly what I said before about self-worth having found your self-worth and really wanting to stick to it knowing what it is that that you deserve to have basically in your in your life here I do see you as trying to to fully detach or for some of you you may have already detached but it, there's still some pain some difficulty that that is in the situation here so let's see let's get a little bit more for you let's see the queen of wands the world and the ace of wands okay you're ready for something new here. You're ready for whatever it is that was going on here to actually be done, to be over, and to have a new beginning, whether it is with this person or with somebody else. It feels like it, for a lot of you, it's going to be with this person um, that you're feeling this way, but I feel like you're really standing very, very firm on the idea that if this, if this doesn't start as something new, if there's not a new, like, grounding or a new basis that we are going off from then no i'm not giving in i'm not going back i'm done completely here let me see page of swords All right, interesting. We have the Six of Wands, but also the Seven of Pentacles, which is in, in um, their energy. Yeah, see, so no matter how determined you are, I feel like there's this um, sense of curiosity, almost like, like, I don't want to say that you're spying on them, but you do, it feels like you do have this curiosity as to whether or not they actually are working on something. Are they being successful at that? I feel like deep down somewhere within you, you you kind of hope that that this person is in this um, Seven of Pentacles energy, at least trying to put things in order, put things together, figure things out, you know, with what was going on with them. And it's funny because I <laughs> I do see that they are. They're exactly in that energy. So let's clarify them. Let's see. Let's see this Two of Cups. Wow. The Ace of Cups. Let me get one more. 
there's a lot of love. I mean, I'm telling you that the two of cups clarified by the ace of cups and the six of cups. Wow. Whatever it is, I, I feel like this, this is a person who is going through a very um, difficult time right now with their own self, really growing from, from this experience. And a part of that drive is how much they want this connection with you. They feel this unconditional love. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of reminiscing of the past. There's a lot of nostalgia for you and wanting to reconnect with you. I mean, it cannot be more clear. Let me just say this again, okay? The Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Cups. All right, is in their energy here. And the Knight of Cups just, just flipped over. All right, which I feel is, um, I'm taking it. Let's see what else for the Seven of Pentacles. All right, and we also got the Eight of Swords and the Chariot. Okay, so whatever it is that they're working on, that they're trying to put together, it has to do with... Um, their own their own blockages their own fears their own um negative thinking patterns because it's like they're holding themselves victim to their own thoughts about something but having the the knight of cups okay it's just kind of confirming this energy down here for how much they want to come forward towards you all right, but then we also have the chariot, which is showing me that there is movement. All right, um, there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of overanalyzing. There is a lot of trying to figure out, you know, is this even possible? Like, can I even do this? But they're not stagnating, is what I'm getting here. They're not stagnating. It is taking a little bit of time here, all right, with the Seven of Pentacles. That's not necessarily a very fast energy. The Chariot is, but I'm seeing this mostly as them just doing a lot of, a lot of inner work, and this is actually pushing them forward. It's a message for you to know that they're not stagnating here. It might just feel slow, but, but there is movement. Let me see this Nine of Wands for the near future. Yeah, the Fool. See, there's definitely action here. The Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. There's a shift here. It's not easy. It's not an easy one. There's definitely um, a risk involved or, I mean, with having both the Chariot and the Fool, there's something here that this person is doing that will require some kind of a leap of faith. It will require making a shift towards the unknown. It's it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. And I feel like it's been a, a, a dragged out um, process or like a dragged out story, something that has been going on for a while here. There And there might still be a little bit of resistance, all right? I'm not saying that there's not, okay? And it's because of this Eight of Swords. It might be slowing things down just a little bit, but there's still movement regardless. Something is about to shift. Yes, there has been resistance, and like I said, there might still be a little bit, but it's kind of like hesitantly moving forward, but still moving forward regardless. And this reading is reminding me either of Leo or Aries, I can't remember, one of the other two fire signs. So you might be dealing with one of those um, two signs. All right, let me see the Hierophant for the potential outcome here. All right, the Page of Wands and Temperance. There is a step, there, there's a step towards this new type of a new type of an energy which I feel is going to come with in with a lot of healing all right there's going to be something that is coming into balance all right within this connection I again I feel like it has to do with your person um 
so yeah, I know I said this reminds me of uh, the other two fire signs, but you could also be dealing with the with the Taurus possibly. Um, this is definitely an experience that the both of you are learning from. I feel like you you are learning your self worth through this, or you have learned it, or possibly still continuing to learn that not settling for something that is less than what you deserve. All right, and your person here, they're learning to probably to fight, to fight for what it is that they know um, is in their hearts. All right, to fight for what it is that they want here for, the, for this love. They're learning to release resistance when it comes to taking a leap of faith in a direction that might feel um, unknown to them. Putting in that work and making the necessary shifts within themselves through the shadow work that is coming up. That is what what you're learning and this is going to be very very healing for for the connection. All right, Saji. So let's see if this was resonating let's get your final Oracle message and please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate for you. Let's see. All right, and we have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Yeah, so definitely a very strong connection here. It came through very, very clearly, especially down here in this person's energy. All right, um, this is definitely a connection where you may have had um, lots of lo um, past lives together and you can feel the strength of that you can feel it in the bond all right guys those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love